blessings everyone happy friday hope everyone is doing well it is friday yay <laughs> so somebody here was at a turning point they didn't want to leave the shelter Holy Spirit showed me that somebody had been visited. Hi, Stephanie Carver. Hi, Trinity. Somebody didn't want to leave the comfort of their snake pit. And God was testing someone. And Holy Spirit showed me that someone was visited by the angel of the Lord. And if they were shown a vision, a dream of you, confirmation to your title, they kept running from the Lord. And I'm getting that the Lord went, the angel of the Lord. This person knew exactly what they were doing, and they chose the snake pit. They chose their wicked ways over a divine union with you, over being awakened by you. So this is a collective reading. It's not for everyone. Take what resonates. Thank you. Hi, Brandon. Blessings, everyone. Okay, let us clear our space. So if you want to close your eyes, take a deep inhale. Setting an intention of anything that has been heavy on your heart. Hi, Shamika, of anything you want to release. All right, close your eyes, take a deep inhale. Breathing in the breath of God. Dropping in your heart space. Calling forward your Ascended Master, your Spirit Guides and Angels. We are the wild flame, we are in purity, God's desire. Holy Spirit, we ask that you purify each cell, each tissue, each internal organ with the light of God, calling in the holy angels. Holy Spirit, we ask for the ring of fire for protection. Walk before us as a teacher and a friend, teaching us discernment with the righteous and the wicked. Calling in the holy angels, Archangel Raphael, for healing. Archangel Michael shields us, clears us, puts us in a pillar of God's light. To the west, we evoke Archangel Gabriel, spiritual eyes, spiritual ears, and a spiritual heart. And to the north, we evoke Archangel Uriel, commanding forth your divinity, your light, and your grace. From below is Archangel Sandalfin, grounding us to Mother Earth. And from above is Archangel Metatron, bringing us to God, self, the Christ consciousness. We declare this our sacred space. We are protected on all six corners as above as below. Lord Jesus, we ask that you bring truth to all lies. Holy Spirit, we ask that you bring healing and light to all darkness. In the name and the authority of Jesus Christ, we cast out lower energies, transmuting them to light of God. We rebuke any spell, curse, hex, right, we send these demons to the pit by the authority of Jesus Christ. Take a deep inhale in your heart. Coming heart-centered back in alignment with God's truth and God's purpose. Holy Spirit, we pray for world leaders that they may hear the voice of God. You may soften their heart. We pray for anyone who's being persecuted, who needs a home, shelter, a car, food, a job, anyone struggling with addictions, anyone struggling with poor health. May you deliver us from evil and lead us away from temptation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take a deep inhale in your heart. And welcome back. Yay. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My little camera is a little off. Yay. There we are. Much better. All right. So let's see what's going on. Let me just double check my notes. They were tested by God, and an angel of the Lord visited them. They still fled, playing in the snake pit. So somebody didn't want to come out. And I see a lot, some of you, like, really wanting to help. So you got the green light because you set very strong and healthy boundaries. You had to learn to guard your heart. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So you've closed out a very important karmic cycle. Yeah, you worked very hard at closing off karma. 
closing cycles. You knew that this love offer you received from a lack, a lack of words on my part, you received a bogus love offer. Now somebody here feels left out in the cold. This person betrayed you. This guy, this little guy has a little sword in his hand. Somebody was very much doing things in the dark and whatever comes to dark, whatever happens in the dark always comes to light. So they sacrificed their own awakening journey and you took the green light. So you have a king of wands who is living a double life, who is now being stabbed in the back. So somebody here could have gotten stabbed in the back from 10 different people. You're moving towards, <clears throat> wow, my frankincense is really burning right now. You leaned into your new beginning. So when you leaned into God, when you surrendered all to God, getting full-blown chills, you received a new beginning. A lot of you are clearing your space. Yeah, this, something needed to close out. Something needed to die for your rebirth. So you have something passionate that you're moving towards. You had the strength to heal, even though this person chose not to heal. So someone here could be a Leo. You healed. And this King of Cups, somebody who was emotionally manipulative, didn't heal. This is somebody who stalks you. They delayed their own awakening. Oopsies. Yeah, this is somebody who's not single, who is not in a place of gratitude. This is somebody who doesn't want the cycle to end. You had to set very strong and healthy boundaries. So a lot of you, this brought you a lot of sacred wisdom, but it activated a masculine energy for new beginnings, for setting healthy boundaries by choosing yourself. You also awakened the sacred feminine within you. So you're sitting in an empress energy. This fallen angel, very cloudy judgment, unbalanced. They fell from God's grace. What they did to you was so painful, they detached themselves from God. This person knew exactly what they were doing because God, Holy Spirit, and Jesus, the angel of... I, this is what I was shown in meditation this morning. The angel of the Lord was coming down to your person. And it was almost like I see somebody just waking up in a cold sweat as to like what was really happening. And this person just didn't want to, they didn't want to let go of their wicked ways. So they sacrificed. Someone waited too long, sacrificed their journey. They couldn't make a decision. They were always in their head. Someone could be in a mental Somebody always self-sabotages, and now they're heartbroken. This person could be yelling and screaming. This person didn't give to you. They didn't give to you how they should have, how you deserved. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, someone here thought that they could have choices, options. Now they're in a mental burden feeling very nostalgic somebody here we have a full moon in libra and a lunar eclipse someone to really feel it in their feels this person was in and out with love offers so they didn't really fully commit you're taking action yowzers you have a ton of you have generational abundance and with the lovers you have a choice in love you're moving towards your destiny you're moving on the journey to the path that god has lit for you so for some of you you too have been visited by the angel of the lord and you have seen the path you've seen your divine righteous path thank you holy spirit wow. 
this person overindulge you are no longer in your headspace you have released your burdens you have healed that is why you have hey mystic killer you have a new beginning you had to separate yourself from everyone which allowed yourself to pour into you so when we have the ace the ace represents the hand of god giving to you so you had to pour in your own cup because in the past what you were doing was you were pouring from an empty cup so you had to learn to pour from a cup from god <coughs> that is really smoking so there is an injustice someone could have put you in a third party or a covenant someone who didn't heal somebody mentally burdened right now no mental clarity this is somebody that didn't speak their truth new beginnings Thank you. that was a light sears so somebody is in a crossroad whether they should tell you that they have a secret crush on you that was worse. Anything else I spoke? <clears throat> this person missed the signs because of their addictions. Toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, obsession. They had a hidden motive. So this person still wearing a mask, concealing, disguising, lying. They 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 made the wrong choice. Someone may feel that they're still attracted to, here's the snake. Someone regrets being attracted to a snake, Holy Spirit. Deception, shady, contention, enemy. So when the Holy Spirit said somebody's still in the snake pit, they regrettably made the wrong choice that they were attracted to snake in the snake pit. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Smoke. It's frankincense. Anything else, Holy Spirit? They roll the dice. So this person can now just stalk you on social media. They can't travel toward you. This person is still in casual relationships that are toxic. And you see between the lines. So you could be more focused on family. This person's still in a third party. Can you guys read this? Snake charmer. This person is still attracted to cheating. A player. <clears throat> now they're having money finance, money issues, money problems. They're losing their friends. Everyone is seeing past the illusion. This person could be calling you from black numbers because of liquid courage. This is someone who ghosted you, now sees you as confusing, mysterious, alluring. This is someone unhealed and you are spiritually awakened. Someone is too afraid <clears throat> to speak their truth. So they pretend that they're not your secret crush. Someone was, someone's intuition was blocked. You have a new proposal in new love. And this person's intuition was blocked, so they went the wrong way. Someone didn't want to change and someone's been thinking of texting you or they could be texting you from black numbers. Everything is divine timing. This person is at a crossroads whether they should break up with their karmic. They have a lot of stress and anxiety because someone has feelings and they feel that they have unfinished business with you. But I feel like you surrendered this to God. 
This person was one unaware of how divinely protected you are and the divine intervention. So keep standing in God's truth. Anything else? Wise from? This person's going to be heartbroken that you're not going to reconcile with them. Someone sees you as home, but this person is still in a relationship with a karmic soulmate. The grass is greener. Their karmic is very jealous of you. Now they're having legal issues. Somebody has been trying to plot how to run into you. They're going through the storm. And this is your ex-lover. Memories, the past, old flame, nostalgic. So you're single. Some of you could be dating. You want a committed relationship and you're moving towards marriage. You're wanting a kingdom spouse. You're wanting a higher vibrating soulmate. You're not entertaining someone who's cheating, someone who's still in a third party. You're cutting out social media. That's good. So somebody here is very angry. They saw you as weak prey. They were catfishing you. Holy Spirit coming through. This person's been calling you from blocked numbers because they didn't take the journey. This person, Holy Spirit showed me in meditation this morning. The angel of the Lord showed them you. There was a vision. There was a dream. Maybe in a past lifetime, you guys could have been married, a spiritual marriage. This person knew that you were the one. 444. So this is somebody from a past lifetime, Egyptian bloodline. They could have done this to you multiple times. It was forbidden. God will, you will watch it all go down. And these people will be out of business. They will be defeated with the karmic ending. They treated the karmic like a queen. Someone here could be have a fake nurse and they are haunted. Stuck in a bad romance. All business, money is their love language. You've upgraded, you have leveled up. This fake man is over obsessed and toxic. This keeps coming up in an unrequited relationship. Torn between two lovers feeling like a fool. Lordy, 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 lordy. What else? Oh, no, no, no. Represent my lifestyle. Hmm? So you're looking for a deeper bond with your soul tribe. Money issues are going to be healed soon. Keep in prayer. You have love beginning. You're going to be a busy bee. So if money has been an issue, 23 breaks down to five. It's not going to be an issue any longer. Somebody who is feeling very nostalgic about you has a hidden agenda. 715 could be of significance. Think it through. Somebody didn't think it through. They didn't think that snake pit. You don't desire to reconnect. That came in reverse. You are cleansing. Continue to cleanse your energy every single day. And somebody here is envious. I feel like it's either somebody could be born in 67 or July 7th. It's either your person who's envious that you're free or their karmic is envious that they want you. They are in fear and worry, throwing shade. You don't trust these people. 
Someone needs a chakra balance. And a very toxic... Somebody here is very confused because of their toxic community. Someone needs a new lifestyle. You are saying no. You have a better perspective now. You have exciting news coming in. for what is the exciting news? You are on your soul's journey. Because, so for some of you, your lesson was about relationships. Relationships are going to improve on your journey. Does that say 1-1? One, one? Oh, it's 7-1. This person didn't want to heal. So they're repeating the past. They have no deep connections. They can't let it go. Someone's losing their home. Please set boundaries and more to come. Anything else? So somebody, children can be involved. This came in reverse. Someone needs to assert themselves. Someone could be 25. Someone wants to return to you for an, a happy outcome. There's a lot of July. July 13th. What is July? Chucks, I can't think right now. July birthdays choosing yourself and someone's finances they're not going to improve these people didn't take heed they were warned ending romance is yours and someone doesn't want to say goodbye but their heart is closed so they check your social media you could have met somebody in winter solstice or winter solstice was somebody's last chance. Someone's last chance to try again. The time is now. You know. You know what's going on. These people are in balance going through the tower. Yes, they're out of balance. They're going through a tower. They can't afford you. More will be revealed temptation. This person was choosing temptation over you. Their wicked ways. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The snake pit. Okay. Keep surrendering. Yes. You leveled up. You passed the test. So when I was in meditation, the... God was testing, maybe God was testing everybody. You leveled up and you passed the test and they didn't. They aren't praying for you. They're praying on your demise. Stay balanced, grounded, and humble. This person could have started as a chosen one, but they walked away from their chosen one journey. This is in reverse. Chosen one, you said yes to God, appointed and ordained by God. They refute, they rejected God. Someone's going through a lot of ascension symptoms right now. Nausea, headaches, achy body, insomnia, ear ringing. That could be coming from the spring equinox or the lunar eclipse, the full moon. Someone does not speak to their angels and guides and they can't let it go. They didn't let God and let go. This is a great message to end on. It is finished. Do not sacrifice your soul. Seek refuge in Jesus. No weapon formed against me shall prosper because you are a chosen one. Someone here loses their job. Someone was unaware how divinely protected you truly are. You are here to make the world a better place and you're a healer. Somebody was supposed to break general ancestral curses but they didn't. They made more ancestral wounds. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Headaches last night. You're going to triumph. You took a vow to persevere. You're moving towards eternal love, and these bullies are going to be losing their money. They are stressed. 
Wow. Somebody here ended up with someone who is not a sweetheart. So this sweetheart who is not a sweetheart could have tried to rob them, their money. Good intentions. Somebody is stealing their real estate and someone needs help. I'm sending prayers. Okay. Give thanks and gratitude. You wouldn't be this far along with them, without them. So someone here could be an earth sign. Oopsies. Not the time to be a coward. Speak up and stand up. These are unsaved souls subconsciously unable to commit. These are people who are opposed of what you do. Someone may feel like a coward, that they can't return, they can't stand up. So you're dealing with a karmic masculine on the top. Anything else, Holy Spirit? They have no discernment. Somebody has no discernment and that's why they're in the snake pit. Not everyone has the Holy Spirit receiving the anointing. Someone here doesn't even believe in the Holy Spirit. Pray that repent, ask for forgiveness, that they renounce Satan and close the door and find God. So you either see them as a karmic or they're with a karmic, obsessed with material things. They are guilty as charged. Holy Spirit intercedes. Holy Spirit, take the wheel. It's final. It's ending. It's over. Someone could be going through a divorce. Praying with divine love in your heart. You, you're you still praying for them. No longer serves my heart. You are releasing what no longer serves your higher self. Someone's initial could be T. Spiritual covering accountable to watch over their soul blessings and protection. You have a spiritual covering. Someone didn't know that. A cult leader sacrificed you. That's why they're in the snake pit. You have access to the higher realms. And these people, this earth sign here has a spiritual attachment. Triggered by their own unhealed wounds. Some was attempting to complete, to compete with a chosen one slot. Someone here thought that they could replace you with someone else. Spying through tarot readings. Someone doesn't choose you. They chose a karmic family over you. Bowsers. I, J, K, L, and their name. Someone here is having a full circle moment. You have the same authority as Christ. They are not available. And someone's initial could be Q. Anything else? So this is happening right now in real time. Libra, you brought justice. So the full moon in Monday is Libra. You bring justice. You're balanced. Oopsies. God was preparing you for the next chapter in your life. They abandoned their children, practicing sexual sin, sexual immorality. God is opening a new timeline, divine being. Satan is defeated, Jesus in Jesus' name and truth. You need to keep standing in the truth with Jesus. 
Divine Masculine left one karmic and went towards another karmic. Somebody here has a pit of karmics. Holy Spirit showed me. Superhero syndrome causing havoc, then needing recognition, creating desperate situations. Someone's initial could be H. If you're seeing engagement, be open for new love. You took authority with Jesus. You could have QRST in your name. Somebody here is in a lot of sadness and depression. Devil's workshop. Evil thoughts enter minds easily that are lazy and idle. Somebody here sits around doing nothing. An ex-lover. Attempting to replace a chosen one for another chosen one. Both get karma. Ooh, that fell. You have a certain set of skills that who hurt you need you. They need you. Somebody here needs you. Because you have, you carry the ordaining. You have authority. An earth sign, again. The worst is now behind you. This is final judgment. Somebody did something fraudulent, fraud, false. Angry, unhealed, close-hearted for what the karmic did to them. So they try to do this to you. Someone here could be a Leo. You freed yourself. This is an older man. A life-altering experience. They are in shock about your destiny. This was a false prophet. And someone could be a Scorpio. Somebody here, their racket was false marriage. I don't know what you would do with a false marriage certificate. But their outcome is to be locked up. This came up before. The false marriage certificate was the false life insurance policies. Sugar daddies. Some of you could be seeing a lot of hawks and eagles. Stay focused on the Lord and flesh desires fall off. So a lot of you could be praying to the Holy Spirit to help you release the fleshly desires. Seeing through the eyes of love how Christ loves us. Someone could be G. Flaky and insecure too commit you could be a virgo they could be a virgo final steps of ascension of patience humility and the soul they have a hidden agenda god is coming for your enemies see the karmic was demanding a lot of money for this divorce so this person didn't divorce them they stayed Thoughts of a few and darkness are illusions, not of God. Thoughts of fear and darkness are not illusions, and illusions are not of God. This year, I this is going to be your year. Finding the courage to heal and shine your light through this situation, through the storm. Do what you love, money will follow. What they did to you was inhumane. And you kept forgiving them. That's why you healed. Because God is in you. Always finding the light. Do what you love. Amen. Amen to that. All right, let's get some guidance. Uh-oh. I don't have my initials. All right. Let's get guidance. This is my deck. The Lord's flock. Holy Spirit. Guidance for the Divine Feminine. You're welcome. Be dressed, be ready for service, and keep your lamps burning. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. It is finished. 
Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, guidance for the Divine Masculine. I am a beloved child of God. So there is a masculine here who is awakening, who sees themselves or needs to see themselves as a child of God. Seek me first, Lord Jesus is saying. Forgive us our trespassers as we forgave those who trespass against. Somebody here, there's a masculine here who doesn't want to forgive what the karmics did to them. So their heart chakra is blocked. Heavenly Father, walk through my home and take away all my worries or any illness. Somebody here is ill. They are very ill. I'm sending prayers. Okay, guys. I don't have my initials. So there was a few initials there. All right. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will see you on Monday. This has been a general, so please only take what resonates. If you'd like a personal, you can go to IamLifeCoaching.com. I have classes, workshops. Yes. All right. I'm praying. Keep in prayer. Keep praying for one another. I'm sending you guys so much love. Bye.